Yeah. What is up everybody? It is Clay Mahaffey here on Mahaffey Moto bringing you another video. Now you probably notice I mi now you probably notice I missed the video on Friday. So I'm gonna tell you why I missed that video. I've been very busy these past few weeks and I have to buckle my chin strap right now. And yeah, I've been very busy these past few weeks because on the weekends, it's been storming all weekend and I was gone on a church uh, trip last weekend. The last time I made a video was on Good Friday and it is April 16th right now. So I haven't made a video in a good two weeks. But you saw a video last Monday, no, like, wait, yeah, last Tuesday, and last week we have had tennis practice and at the tennis district tournament, and that's actually what I'm going to talk about today, because I learned a very, 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 very important life lesson last Wednesday, and here's what happened okay so I play tennis and you all probably know that I play tennis and well our district our district's not very good so we kind of knew that we were gonna probably go to state for tennis me and my partner were pretty much knew we were going to go to state for tennis. But be prepared for anything in life. Because here's the story. A few weeks ago, this is this is the weekend before last Wednesday, the weekend before the tennis tournament. I was on a church trip and well, not really a trip, but I, a church deal. And we were doing this obstacle course. And in the obstacle course was a mud pit. And it was about 35 degrees that day. And uh, I started feeling sick afterwards because of the mud pit. And I knew it wasn't, very, I knew it wasn't gonna uh, be good because we had the tennis um, district tournament coming up, so. I I did the mud pit and it was so cold. I jumped in. It was basically water, but I jumped in. So I jumped in and I froze. Not literally, but I felt like I was going to freeze. I was already a a little bit sick before I jumped in, but afterwards it boosted my sickness. And that's another reason I haven't uh, uploaded. I didn't upload last Friday. But, <coughs> okay, it boosted my sickness. So, I'm trying to get over the sickness. I'm taking medicines and everything I can to get over the sickness. Wednesday comes, district tournament time, and I'm still not over the sickness. So, that the morning of the district tournament, I don't know if this had anything to do with it, but I took every allergy every sinus cold and flu medicine i could find before it so maybe i'd be feeling better but no we were playing our first match and it was fine i started uh i started catching cramps we we won this one but i started catching cramps at the end of it but i just powered through them and it was fine the next match okay we could have easily beat these guys, but we were, but we did not beat them because I was getting these cramps. And uh, I don't know why I was getting them. I guess it might have been because I was sick or, or I don't really have any, any excuses. But I started getting cramps so bad, every sudden movement I made, my whole leg would cramp, my whole leg would cramp up. And I don't know if you've 
ever had a cramp before, but it feels like someone is sticking a fork in your muscle and just twisting it. And I'm gonna pull over right up here. But it feels like someone's sticking a fork in your muscle and twisting it. It was Sam Marshall. Uh, he actually plays tennis, that guy. But. Wow, what a beautiful view from up here. But. It feels like someone's sticking a fork in your muscle and then twisting it. And it does not feel good. Like, you cannot function. One time, uh, well this, this happened during the tennis match. My toes, or my big toe, my left big toe got a cramp from my left big toe all the way up my thigh. And my foot just curled up. It was the most insane thing I've ever seen in my life. But my toes and my foot, they just curled up. It was basically my, my foot was somehow making a fist. And uh, it was insane. It hurt like nothing I've ever felt before. So I was trying to straighten that out during the middle of a match. And uh, I couldn't. Every time I would bend my toe back and try to stretch it, it would just bend right back forward. So that took me about 10 minutes to get that out. And... <coughs> I, I couldn't do anything. Every time I would move, the cramps would just get worse and worse. And uh, yeah, I did, I ate or drank, do you eat or drink mustard? But I, I ate and drank must. I ate and drank mustard and I ate some bananas and it was not helping. But we ended up losing. And we probably, I probably should have prepared better for that and probably could have prepared better for that by running and getting in better shape but I thought, I thought we had it so I didn't. So in life, when life throws you a curveball, be prepared for it. Be prepared for anything that happens to you and uh, so yeah, that's kind of where I've been and it took me a few days to get rid of like that crampiness. I guess crampiness is a word, but it took me a few days to get rid of that and I'm just now starting to get rid of the uh, sickness side. I don't know what it was. It felt like the flu, but it was not the flu. It was probably just a common cold, but it was bad. So don't take anything for granted. Like, anything in, anything could happen at any time, so do your best pre to prepare for any situation you have. Yeah, so if you made it this far in the video, I love you. So return the favor and subscribe. Rem remember to keep God first in everything you do, and I'll see you on the next one.